Hey guys, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. As always, I'm Demon 93 and I believe we're wrapping up the final, or the first, <laughs> the first uh, trial today. We're questioning Teru Teru on whether he is the murderer or not. I'm fairly certain he is at this point, but let's continue and find out. S seriously? I don't know anything. Really? I don't know anything at all. Yeah, we know that, but what about the murder? Then can I ask everyone a question instead? I'd rather you don't. You again? Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. Yes. And, and just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Gee, she heard his voice. But that's easy because he could just say from under the floorboards, Hey guys! I thought it was only dark in the kitchen! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Which is more likely? Teru Teru used the stove, the portable stove, to go to the storage room, go under the floorboards and stab Yakia and say that while he was under the floorboards? Or Teru Teru going from the kitchen all the way around, down the hall, to the, the dining hall and coming in and saying that? Hmm? She heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? You can't say that he used the portable stove to get to the dining hall, because we all would have seen a light. Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? How did he get there? Th that's right! That's exactly it! And then when the lights came back on, he was magically not there anymore. But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? Thank you. I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. How'd you get down the hall? Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Wow, you must be fucking fantastic at that. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. Thank if you. I remember correctly. You can tell when a person is lying by looking their sweat. And I can tell when a person's lying when I pummel them to death. Want to find out? So, if you want. You should try licking me. No way! You look greasy! But I heard Terra Terra's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! And I trust Ibuki's honor. That's right! Terra Terra was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. Who do you think the killer is, Hand? What's that? You think it was me? Well, that's not very nice of you. You're my right hand, you can't be turning on me like that. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... I know better. You should be so I'm proud smarter of yourself, than that. Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Please stop. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Sure. Make your argument! Caps in the floorboards. Calling it right now. It's like he's in the same room. Let me ask you again. Okay. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? Yep. There's no way I went to the storage room. Yep. You sure did. I was somewhere totally different! Nope. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. Yes. It's handsome, unlike his face. Mm. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope. Nope, definitely a live voice. Yep. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. That was where it is, damn it. I missed it because I was shooting the white noise. There's definitely a contradiction hidden within those remarks. I need to find it. Let me ask you, did you go to the store? There's no way I, I was somewhere total. I definitely heard. It's handsome. Maybe it was recorded. Nope, definitely. Right. As long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be... Lies. I'll shoot through that contradiction. I'll shoot through that contradiction. 
because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. God, you guys are explaining this the same way that fucking Chiaki did earlier with the... He was stabbed under the table, but not under the table. He was in the... In the dining hall, but not in the dining hall. The place where he was stabbed was in a different room than where he was stabbed. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. Thank you! What do you guys say about that, Terror Terror? But, 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 but. You got nothing left. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Terror Terror? That was suspicious to me from the get-go. <laughs> Hold on a second. You got no more alibi there, bitch. Can you explain this, Terror Terror? You done, son. I told you to wait a second, ain't I? What? The fuck? Yeah! What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Ah, his bayou boy comes out now. Where are you from again? It's Cajun accent. Ooh, I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Sure. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! Clearly. If Terry Terror was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Exactly! Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. And yet somehow he did! Huh? Was Terry Terror actually there during that time? Nope! I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Nope. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Get on with damn it. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there. And I believe that he was not there. Good for you, Sonia. Thank you for being so indecisive. No. Just like Is there any nobility. Way we can decide? Just like a princess. Why don't we consult his memories? What? His memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that. Don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Huh? Oh, can. Oh, 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 you again. Yeah. Whether or not Terror Terror was in the dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. Oh, that's where the embarrassing pose comes in. I can prove it with this. That's... If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back... Yeah, that's why it's a fucking clue. You should know how Mekong was positioned at the time. Right. Whoa, what? <laughs> no! You remember? It's so embarrassing! I'm sorry, Mikan. No, this is a very important question. And he wouldn't forget, because he's a fucking pervert. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. She was spread eagle! Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Clever way of tripping. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um. Um. Huh? Uh. Huh? That's weird. It just slipped from my mind. Of course. There's no way it would slip from your mind. Especially not a pervert like you. Ha 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 ha. You've been caught. Um, even so, you little shit. Nagito, say something. He's not here to defend you, bud. Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Where did the accent go? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Sure. To, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? <sighs> oh, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Because you are the killer. Just huh? fucking end it. But it's already decided, right? Now, 
I'm okay, Bill Cosby. The motor woman had not been cleared up yet, Jeff. It's very simple. It's the no missing use. skewer. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. Correct. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Fuck you calling me <laughs> the killer. Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. I mean, I can understand it. Can you not understand Cajun accents? Um, he said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? I mean, he said a little bit more than that shit. He said, oh, fuck you. <laughs> weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Yaku's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. The missing skewer! Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. Sure. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Uh, well, Terror Terror does, and that means we still have some point to make. Not good enough! Not good enough at all! Not good enough at all. He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. What a door? What a door? That one I don't know. Um, he said, try to do it. What a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. A thin edge tool with a diameter of about 50 millimeters and at least 50 centimeters in length. The weapon that meets those requirements might have been used at the crime scene. Huh? What's that? Oh god, another hangman's gambit. Iron skewer. Come on then. Oops. <laughs> Should save that one. Need an R. Can I get an R? Can I get an R? Ah, damn you! Oh, almost had it. There we go. I got it. Ta-da! That's it. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? The missing iron skewer. As Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, oh, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? Correct. An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Terror Terror, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, yeah, he's foaming at the mouth. Avril Lavigne! Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne? <laughs> huh? Did he really just say that? Um... Why? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Okay, fine. Island sirens? Just for littering? Sure. Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Okay, so he stashed it somewhere in the building. Which means he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Sure. Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, he's turned into a monkey now. Finally, we are nearing the end. A cornered opponent will sur be surrounded by soul shields and simply will not listen to what you have to say. 
It will probably pain you to contemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. A high-speed dispute battle where you beat down a panicked opponent's excuses and nonsense. That's the bullet time ba- sorry, the panic talk action. <coughs> PTA. Okay. You must destroy all your opponent's soul shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks while following the tempo of the song. Time your button presses to the tempo marker as it moves across the screen. Match the tempo marker by pressing the left mouse button. And you'll be able to lock on to the opponent's remark. If you keep pressing it, you'll be able to lock on to the multiple remarks at the same time. Afterward, you release the left mouse button in time with the tempo marker. Sure. By destroying your marks, you'll be able to damage the soul shields, protecting the opponent. You cannot destroy their remark within the time limit, you'll end up getting hurt. During PTA, CAP, Part T, please just focus on pressing the last boss button. Please wait for another time for the other features. So consecutively, and you'll start a combo. Tempo up. If you keep missing, you'll find yourself in you know, a tempo down. Song changes, tempo changes. This will alter the timing for each button. Please be careful. Last but not least, let me tell you about the final blow. Once you destroy all your opponent's soul shields, they will start to give their final argument. And if that happens, four words will be displayed on the top, bottom, left, and right sides of the screen. Each of those four words corresponds to the W, S, A, and D keys. If you press the buttons in the right order, you'll be able to compose the words to your final strike. Please make your argument while searching for the words that will trump your opponent's final argument. Also, if you don't deliver your final strike within the time of the opponent's soul shards, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? What the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? You're the one that's a country hick, you, you Cajun bumpkin. He said, um, oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? I guess. We have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. If the iron skewer is the weapon, then hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip it by. But Byaki and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started. Which means, was the weapon... Was the weapon was already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it? <clears throat> Could it have been in an unexpected place? <clears throat> Where would that be? Where did he hide a long weapon like an iron skewer? Think carefully. I'm not hiding, I'm not hiding anything. Said, I'm not hiding anything. Not on your person. I'm hiding anything. I'm not hiding anything. I must reveal to Terra Terra the conclusive evidence that proves he is the killer. All right, let's get this panic talk action underway. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! Am I, am I doing things? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! Paris Hilton! Shut up! That's impossible! Sure. Nonsense! Am I, am I doing it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! I keep missing Paris somehow, Hilton. which isn't fair. Unforgivable! Where would the weapon be? Uh, me on the bone. This is the end. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? Ta-da! <laughs> He's a monkey again. What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything in a place like that. That's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. What, really? Impossible. That's what Byakuya and I <clears throat> thought. That's why we overlooked. 
if the handle of the skewer itself is bone, it seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the churrasco earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone! What now? Oh god. I'm using my right to remain silent. Hi, pleading fifth. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, Bullseye! Do you really want to eat the meat that has the bloody iron skewer inside it? Alright. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. How dare you, Soda? Sonya is not some piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out! What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh, about that. No. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I already brought it! I'm right here! I'm already eating it! Fat bear? Oh, a bear that eats meat! That's all bears. Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! Please don't take the that one out of context. brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Please stop. Look what came out! <laughs> Isn't that... The iron skewer! An iron skewer? Sure is. Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction! Encased in bone and sheathed in meat! It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! The A verily. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. Ultimate cook. You're wrong! I'm not the killer! I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. You've been found out, boy. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you can blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Nope. Hey, Nagato. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? Thank you, Chiaki. Fast food eating hicks. Fuck you, Terra Terra. Lisa, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor loud mouth fast food eating hicks. Yes, thank you, Monami. I understand you, what he's saying. You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. <laughs> Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident oh God, from again? to end and make everything clear. Is it going to be the same way as that the first game was? Go over the entire incident, and then I can prove Terra Terra's crime. That's right, if we, do, if we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. So it finally comes to this. My throb is chesting. Every case has one last feature to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the order of events in the case in the form of a comic book. This reprodu reproduction is merely Hajime's imagination, so there will be gaps here and there. Gaps are the areas where a number of pieces are missing. It's up to you to complete the comic book using the truth panels provided. Around three to five truth panels make up one set. Inside the one set, there will be correct panels placed among the incorrect panels. If you use up all the correct panels contained in one set, it will switch to a new set. 
After that, if you fill in all the holes, you will clear the challenge. I'm pretty sure some of you already noticed, but it will be difficult to complete with so many gaps. But once you fill some in, it will become much simpler. For those of you who played the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Now that when playing and solving the closing argument, there's a certain trick. If you move the reticle onto the gaps on each page, it will display hints at the top of the screen. This type of hint will ask what kind of scene is drawn in that gap. Will ask what kind of scene is drawn in that gap. Also, if you move the reticle onto a truth panel, it will display a hint as well. This hint explains the scene contained in that panel. Put together those two hints and think carefully. Of course, don't forget that there will be a time limit. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. Closing argument. Start. <clears throat> Find the thought. Stock one. Okay. Uh, unlit portable stove. Hyoko is drinking juice. Hyoko is drinking juice. Switched on. Nagito tried to duck under the table. Okay. At the storage room before the blackout. Same scene as the office. Okay. At the office room when the blackout occurred. Nagito ducking under the table. Okay, the killer obtained a light. Nope. Okay, I guess this information doesn't fit here. I should think about that again. Okay, the weapon hidden in. Sure. What? What the fuck is this supposed to be? Okay. That was... That's the fucking cooking thing. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Piakia. I fucking hate you. This is fucking stupid. Okay, there's that one. At the storage room before the blackout, irons. Okay. At the office when the blackout occurred, nothing. Uh, when it got dark, Biakia. Weapon hidden in. Kill obtained this tablecloth. And. Last stock. This one is dumber than the original. Weapon hidden in the meat. Okay. Moment it got dark, Bianca put on the goggles. At the office, when the blackout occurred, the air conditioning unit. Here's everything that happened in Voila. this case. And with that, Let's we're going to end the episode, episode after this. this. Beginning with right after the party started. Actually, we're going to end the episode here, and we're going to continue this next time. See you guys!